Hi there, are you looking for a great winter starter home? Well, no fear. Uh, you can't see me anymore. Hello. Howdy, everybody. Today, we're going to be building ourselves a winter starter home, no game pass. <laughs> So I did a fall starter house uh, last month and it's pretty much winter, you know, it's as cold as winter here now. So I thought why not build a winter starter home with no game passes. I've done it before, but it's ugly. Okay, we're gonna try and make it look beautiful today. Hold on, I'm gonna show you how ugly it is. Look at that, that, that is ugly. So yeah, I did one last year. Oh, oh, me on top of a mailbox. Hey, I did that kind of. Hold on, let me, let's take a look at the inside. Oh, the outside is depressing. Okay, wait, wait, this is ugly. Was I on a budget? <laughs> oh, this is ugly. Oh, no, no, no. This is Blockburg Starter House vibes. I mean, it was a starter house, so I guess it makes sense. Okay, we're gonna try and make it look better. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make a better one this year. So anyways, uh, here are the rules. No game passes, so let me go ahead and turn off my advanced placement. Sometimes I'll make a habit and like click on it, but um, I won't use it, I promise. I totally won't, yep. And then large plot, let's see. We gotta outline our regular size plot which is really easy because there's a very more like it's a there's a brighter line on the plot to let you know which one's your original so there's that that's all we got to do no multiple stories no basements no, no advanced placement we're just going to suffer all right so like i said i'm going to try and make this look nice we're going to try and make this look be beautiful better than last year okay we're definitely going to try and make like a snow looking roof and i found out that foil kind of looks better than concrete as a snow like a uh, texture so oh look at this one this is super cozy. I kind of want this vibe. I don't know. I kind of want this vibe. You may think it's basic, but it's a starter house with one story, no game pass. I might as well make that. Let me extend this a bit more because our roof is going to look terrible. Our roof is going to look terrible. I already know it. So this one will be fine. Actually, no, it's not. Ah! <laughs> Deja vu, guys. Deja vu. Vu from yesterday's video because I did the exact same thing. I know the roof is going to look terrible. For those that don't know, okay, I just, okay, now it looks fine. This is exactly what I wanted. For those that don't know, Gable Roof will face away depending on how long or like, you know, wide it is. Okay, we're going to just, we're not going to make that house anymore. I quit. I quit. That house, not it. I'm going to make something from my brain. We'll just make a bunch of random shapes and then we'll see what happens. I'm adding a bunch of random shapes. Yes. Okay. All right. We've got ourselves something happening here. Something is happening. At least I think I know what I was talking about with those gable roofs. I, I think I know. I think that's it. That has to be it. But also another side note, uh, another note, just in case, nice little reminder. Um, you can uh, rescale your gable roofs no matter if you have the advanced placement or not. So yeah, that's fun. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I kind of have an idea. But we have like giant gable roofs though, like really big ones, you know? Very, really obnoxiously large gable roofs because I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Let me do this one real quick. It makes it interesting, that's for sure. Okay, I want to put some slanteds now. Okay, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> oh! Oh gosh, I, I <laughs> made a number one mistake. That's okay. Um, I didn't put my pillars. I want to pillar up this house for sure. You have to, um, I'm going to delete the walls. It's okay. It's completely fine. It's, it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. Okay. It's all good. No problems. Imagine if I also made this a no deleting challenge. I would suffer. All right. See, this already feels better than the, the last house. Where would I even put this chimney? I'm going to put it like, oh wait, I can't rescale that, can I? Ooh, I was almost gonna rescale it. All right, we'll leave it just default. Maybe I'll just move it higher up. Oh no, I don't, I'm trying to make it luxurious, but like still affordable. That's kind of difficult, isn't it? Oh wow, I can like, wow. I love how you can put pillars underneath these. Where's the front door? Where's the front door gonna go? Oh, hold on. Hold your horses right now. Don't worry, I'm gonna use the multiple floors just to like get a higher view. I mean, I could obviously just like zoom out my camera, but I'm only using multiple levels just to get and look at things okay i'm not using it i kind of like it why do i like this it's kind of cool all right nice <laughs> don't freak out but i use multiple levels to get a higher look at my house i don't know why this is kind of this is i think kind of neat this is a front door okay i will use that arch panel front door we need some windows on this too i'm gonna use some shuttle it is okay put a window there window there Gonna put this window here. Oh, no game pass houses. They're they're like they're kind of difficult. You're kind of limited, but there are some great builders who make amazing starter houses. So I have no excuse. I really don't. Does this even look good? Hold on, I'm getting an up a, a nicer view again. Hold on. 
<laughs> it's not cheating. I'm not using it. Oh, yeah, I'm using it. Okay, hold on. I'm actually kind of surprised you can still put like pillars under. Yeah, okay, there we go. And this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just trying to keep it busy looking. Oh, this house is gonna be small. No, it's fine. It's gonna be cozy. Okay, it's cozy. Look, doesn't this look better? It, it just, it feels better now. Like, it feels like it has, it definitely has a lot more going on with it. Okay. I want like a spontaneous, very curvy path leading up to this house. So I'm gonna try that out. You're gonna be like, what is that path? Okay, look, listen, it's okay. You make you make something weird and then you start fixing it. That's the goal. That's the that's the key here. I don't know, just, just better looking, right? Okay, it'll be fine. You're gonna be like, what is that? Okay, there we go. Okay, wait, wait, this is a good start. Now what else can I do to make it look feel better? Maybe I'll do that. That looks cool. Okay, it'll be fine. Okay, let's just make this out of slate. Oh, oh, I almost rescaled it. <laughs> I almost rescaled it. I caught myself. Okay, I'm gonna use my windows again. I need, I need to grab some more windows. One right there. What would you what would you kind of call this? I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and change the roof color. And let's try the foil white. Because then we're trying to make it look snowy, right? So... Ooh, why is that? That doesn't look too bad, right? It doesn't look too bad as like snow, quote unquote snow. It actually looks better than concrete. I hope they change the, the, the snow texture this year to just foil that that would be perfect because like i don't even think there's gonna be a lodge like a winter cabin anymore i always say i'm gonna try and do like a, a cabin but it ends up not looking like one anyways okay this is where we're actually adding like some shape to our top pathway i gotta make sure yeah um, make it look like i shoveled the snow to the side obviously i want to put a pile here but we have a little problem can't do it that's fine. I'll just no, no no worries. It's all good. This is already ten times better than last year's winter starter house. So all right, cool. I'm gonna go my inventory and grab some snowmen. I can already see it. I can already see some snowmen. The house is tiny. Like this house is pretty small. So I don't mind doing the exterior first. Lately, I've been loving the exterior. Doing that first. This is winter, so the trees are leafless. They all fell from fall, so... I kind of want to put some cypress ones, too. Yeah, that's another thing. I don't have to rescale a tree anymore. I'm trying not to block the house too much because I want a good thumbnail. I don't have any good shots of the thumbnail. I'm going to have to move these. Oh, we can add some of these bushes over here. Bushes over here. Maybe I'll add some, like, custom plants, too. Because, uh, we might need it. <laughs> we might need it. We might need some custom plants. Don't worry. I don't know why I'm adding grass, but I just want, like, for detailing. How much is this already? How much is it? It's 13,000. It's fine. I think a nice starter home would be like 20K or less, maybe 30K or less. I kind of like it. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the snow, I'm gonna fix the snow. I'm gonna put the snow for the rest of the plot. You know, I might as well just fill the entire plot with this snow, quote unquote, foil snow. There we go. So that's how big the plot is. Crazy, right? It's so crazy. I'm gonna add some string lights to this cause it's gonna be a festive winter starter house, but I can't custom place these lights any- Oh, I can't place them in, period. Ah! Ugh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Ugh. I'll be home for quills, moms. That's stuck in my head. I can't. Maybe some flowers. Some flowers are in order. Maybe some rocks. I definitely need some rocks for landscaping. Maybe it could be like fake plants. Yeah, fake plants. <gasps> wow, that looks so cute. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's look at it at night. I want. I can't. Ooh. <gasps> oh, that is cozy. That is a cozy house. Okay, perfect. Like seriously, I did this with no game pass. Like. Did I cheat? I feel like, did I cheat somewhere? This does not feel like a no game pass house. It just, it looks, it feels like a normal one. Oh, I'm put a sled. Oh, <gasps> decorate it. Put a sled like leaning against the pillar. Okay, that's good enough. I think that's good enough for the exterior. I think we are good. We are good. Look at that. So solid. The back, no. We, we don't need a back door. Who needs a back door? We don't need a back door anymore. I'm not doing a back door. It's okay. Let's do a floor plan. Let's get to the floor planning now. So the front door is here. I can somewhat see this being a bathroom right to your right here. A bedroom right there. This will be the kitchen, living room. Kitchen, living room, bathroom, bedroom. Ew. The layout kind of is terrible. Maybe I could fit a bathroom somewhere else. Maybe like, maybe there, that's the bathroom. Bedroom. And then this whole area is like the kitchen, living room. So we can make it work. It's fine. I think we're going to try this layout. We can always change it. So wait. Okay, let's work on the kitchen first. The kitchen is a very important place of the house. I'm moving the window. One moment. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete it real quick. Okay, I'm going to put this. Well, guess what? I have to replace that pillar now. Oh, I can't even put it there because... Ah! 
I'll put the oven there. That's a good oven placement. All right. If I go a little crazy, like placing kitchen things, just don't mind it. It's a normal day if I go crazy placing my kitchen stuff. <laughs> no, I'm about to go. No, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. No, I'm not. I can't. I can't deal with this anymore. I can't deal with this. I'm going to I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I mean, dramatic. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Maybe it's okay if there's no window here. Is there a way to- there's a way to loophole this. There's a way to loophole this, I bet you. I don't want to put the fridge and the- the- <laughs> the oven next to each other. What do you mean I not enough space? Why? Why? Ah! There we go. There we go. Ugh, I did it. Okay, wait. Let me delete this. Can I put the pillar back? Okay. Ooh! Okay, you know, that's good enough. This pillar is slightly out there. Oh, I should have put a pillar here. Building curse. This is building cursed. Building cursed. We're missing a pillar. So there's our kitchen situation. <gasps> we have no counter space because we need a sink and the sink is gonna take up this counter space. I'm gonna put a sink here and you could technically work on this counter right here, by the way. You can work on that counter. I don't care about counter space. We're going to, you can work on that counter, by the way. You can work on this counter. See if I like make food, you can prepare it like, hold on. You wanna make food, you can prepare it right here. Ha! <laughs> it's functional, so it's fine. Not realistic, but it's okay. We have like in a realistic sense for counter space, you could be working in the corners, right? Probably not practical, but that's okay. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. We could put the toilet just fine. We could put the shower here just fine. There might not be a sink. <laughs> there might not be a sink. Okay, we'll do that. I think we'll just do this. Two by two bathroom, what do you expect, yeah? Okay, it's, I don't think it's an affordable house, but it's okay, no game pass still. Let's work on the bedroom. Let's work on the bedroom, okay. Can't, do I dare put a double bed in here? Do I use the double bed? I cannot do a double bed. <laughs> no, 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 my cabinet's gonna go there. Oh, the cabinets are gonna be terrible too. Cause I can do like one here, I can do this one. I can't do anything else. It's, it's just, it's just, it's Dunzo's. This, that's it. I'm gonna just spam it. I'm gonna just spam it until I can. Oh, okay. I probably can't, but I'm gonna try. Okay, the cabinets are gonna be a bit weird. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that. That's okay. Okay, that's that's a cozy kitchen. All right, there you go. Done. I'm done with the kitchen. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do for the kitchen. Okay, let's move on to the living room. Oh my gosh. I did a little bit of this bedroom and like moved on. Get a table lamp. I'm gonna use the log one. I think mean, this is kind of poor design. Actually, maybe I shouldn't use the this door. Maybe I'll just use a regular door. Then we might actually have some more space for other things. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh yeah, now we have more space. Now the bedroom's less sad. Okay. <laughs> can I, okay, question. Can I replace these without advanced placement? <gasps> you can, you don't need advanced, you don't need advanced replacement to, okay, that's good actually. That's pretty good. That's good that you don't need advanced placement to replace the pillows. Perfect. But you can't place extra pill. Oh, you can. Never mind. <laughs> I always speak too soon. But you can't like make it super like. Oh, you can. Okay, it's a bit. It's a bit wonky there. Like this wall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. That'd be a perfect place to put the living room. There you go. Sorry, I just. <laughs> <laughs> this game. Get a wreath for my door. I actually want to center. Yeah, like that. There we go. Nice. I think I'm done with the exterior though. Like, I mean, I need to place more trees, obviously. What am I gonna put? This is the dining area. This is this has to be the dining table area. That's a huge table. I need one of those smaller round ones. There you go. We can do that. I can't fit my presents underneath the Christmas tree. This is already, I feel like this is already a 50k house, 40k house, 30k. All right, guys, so my winter star home, no game pass, is complete. It came up to uh, $55,009, and here is how it turned out. So, yeah, this is a little 360. I'm actually not too ashamed to show the 360 for once. Oh, wait, that window and that... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it is a pretty good start. I think it's a good starter home still. There's the exterior. Nice snow shovel pathway. This is a bit weird, but hey, no game pass. So it was, it was making me, it was making it weird. All right. All right. And if you go to inside, we got ourselves the kitchen over here to the right has everything you need and it's fully functional too. You can just work in this corner. Uh, you got a dining room, the living room here. It's kind of, it's all right. Over here is the bathroom. Yes, typical bathroom. And last but not least, the bedroom, which actually, I think this is my favorite room of the house. I like the bedroom and the kitchen the most out of everything because yeah, they just kind of fit very well. Congrats to me, I guess, on that. So cozy in this bedroom. Yeah. All right, I'm done. 
That's it. It's, that's it. It's a starter home. There wasn't much to tour. But yeah, anyway, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's Blockborg episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it inspiring, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hey, not bad. You know, the star house, not bad. It's a little more expensive than you'd expect from a star home, but that's, that's completely fine. It definitely was a lot better though than last year's.